Hey guys, we're back with the Honda. Honda Element. I don't know if I released the videos on this or not, but I probably will soon. But, their complaint is they had a misfire code. They sent me a P0. I thought it was 303, but maybe it was like one of these. But, we got two cylinders reporting a misfire and a random misfire. And, they also said that it runs hot. They said that the one time they had to add coolant, but then they drove it two more days and it didn't get hot on the way to work, but on the way home after sitting for a few hours, it got hot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into data. We're going to look at our coolant temp. Actually, you know what? We won't even look at it in here. We're going to exit just in case we get like a substituted data. I just wanted to read codes in there. So we'll exit this. We'll go into OB Direct. And we'll look at the coolant. We'll start it up. I checked the coolant level. Coolant level's good. And we'll let this warm up and sit here and we'll see how hot it gets and if the fans turn on. Because we could have, with our mist sticking, uh, I don't think we have an air pocket. As far as I know, these aren't known for air pockets and the fact that it just randomly happened. I didn't see any leaks. I um, guess we could have a head gasket issue, but kind of want to duplicate the problem first, see what kind of symptoms we have. Because if it was a head gasket, I don't. I think that would happen all the time. I don't think we just have it happen one time. But I want to look at our short term and long term too. We'll look at this. And we'll look at our auction volt, our auction sensor. I guess we'll look at that. And our intake air. This has been sitting inside overnight. And so what are our temperatures at? Pretty close, three degrees. I'm going to start this up. And we'll just graph this coolant temperature sensor. And I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> There we go. So guys, I had the car running. We're at 183 degrees, and I noticed that, like I thought it was full, but when you squeeze the upper radiator hose, watch. You don't see any movement in there, and I just keep seeing like steam coming out. So I'm wondering if this is actually low and it didn't fill down into the motor. So I'm gonna quick add some. And I know I noticed that there was none in the reservoir. I didn't check the reservoir any earlier because it goes all the way down to the bottom, but I wasn't too worried about that. I think we might be low on coolant. Let's see if we can fill you guys up. Somehow. Pour this in here carefully. I guess that's it. I guess we'll have to put the cap on before I make it. So guys, I had the car running for a while. Um, let's see, I think we zoomed out all the way. You can see right here, the fan was turning on. And it was maintaining like 200, and I think it was like 8 to 213 degrees. So then I turned the AC on, I'll show you guys. So I turned the AC on and put it on high. 
And the reason why I did that was uh, this fan was the only one coming on right here. This one. That one over there never turned on. Just with a normal fan. And I thought that was odd. I'm like, I'm like, I wonder if both fans are supposed to come on. I didn't look up anything yet. I was just doing some quick checks. So then I put the AC on. With AC on, both cars, both fans come on high. And right now we don't have this side on. So that, to me, looks like there might be a fan issue. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put our piercing probes in here. And we'll put a headlight bulb on there. And we'll see if that, if the headlight bulb lights up. So I'm going to get that set up real quick and then we'll come back. So guys, look at this. So, right now, I'm connected to it. Fan's not on, light bulb's on. So our power and ground appear to be good. We can even connect two of these. If you watched my video before on how to make these, you'll know that that's around like 10 amps or so that we're pulling right now. So that's probably around what the fan will pull. So that circuit's good. So our issue is, one of our issues is this fan ain't working. Because, and we're also after the connector. So since we're after the connector and on the fan side, so see this is the harness that goes down to the fan. That proves that our connector is good too. So our issue is, our issue is definitely 100% the fan. So I'm gonna get a price on another fan. Um, we could turn the AC off. Turn the AC off in here and our light might go out. Yeah, see our light went out. So we turn it on. Look at that. AC on. AC off. So, we have a bad fan. Oh, and another thing. These next LED lights right here. These things are awesome. Because you can take them off and on. And use them now for a couple weeks. Look at that. It has high and low on the bottom right here. They last for about like two and a half hours or something on high and like five on low. But it's pretty nice and it folds up. So I'm going to get a radiator fan ordered and then we'll go after this. But we need to have the whole cooling system working. That and I, I don't. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I'll show you guys. Um, this reservoir is completely empty. So, see if they want to do the fan and we'll go from there. So guys, I just started the car up. I put a new fan in. Right there's the fan. We're going to start it up, we're going to watch the engine cool attempt, we're going to watch the fan, and we'll see what happens. And we'll also look at our misfires. I just wonder if the misfires that were recorded were from it getting hot. So, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so I have a new fan in here, I took it for a test drive. Everything seems to be good, and the fan should be turning on soon, I think. With the way the temp's going up. So, let's see. I didn't show this, but I did. I did have the reservoir out overnight and I had filled it with water on the workbench to make sure it didn't leak. So right there is where we're at right now. See the new fan. And the fan should be turning on soon. I think, let's see what we're at. See what our temperature is at. We're at 212 right now. When we were driving, we were around like 180 to 185 or so. And we did, we logged three misfires, but they didn't show up anywhere on here. I don't see any there. I don't on one. Doesn't show any on three. Four doesn't show any, so I think our our misfire issue might have been the temp getting hot. I don't know really how hot it got because she said it would get up to hot. So I don't know if that means that line or if it was up all the way. But see, we're at 212 right now. 
But I had it running in the shop earlier for like an hour. It didn't overheat. Brought it back. Now I have to test drive. Let's see if this fan turns on. Guess I should have brought the scan tool over here so we can watch the temperature. Hopefully it turns on. Let's make sure the thermostat ain't cycling. Oh, there it goes. It just turned on. There you go. You can see they both come on. go you can see they both turned off so without that one fan on you would have had like half your cooling so let's see how far that dropped see we dropped down to 201 degrees oh actually 197 still dropping 195 so look at that I think we're fixed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this off I'll take it for a ride in like a couple hours because she said it would sit at work or so for like three hours, I think. And then we'll start it up. We'll take it for another drive and make sure that there's no issues. So guys, I took the Element for another drive and it's been sitting here idling for probably 20 minutes or so. Highest we saw was 217 and then you see it brings it right back down. So I think it's good, and we logged four misfires the whole time. Like I took it for like a 30 minute drive. So I don't think we're gonna have too much of an issue with it. I'm gonna give it back to them, see what happens, but I'm gonna call this a confirmed fix. Hope you guys like it. Oh, and another thing, this fan control right here, this thing doesn't, I don't know if this is just for like when you, yeah, it must be only when you put the AC on. Because, yeah, that must be all it is. First, I thought that fan control was for when it turns the fan on, but you never see it come on. But, hopefully you guys learned something. See you later.